As she underlined Washington's support for Kyiv, Kamala Harris gave an ominous warning. If we allow aggressors like Putin to take land with impunity, they keep going. And Putin could set his sights on Poland, the Baltic states, and other NATO allies. We also know that other would-be aggressors around the world are watching to see what happens in Ukraine. If Putin is allowed to win, they will become emboldened. Though she did not mention them by name, the US vice president also appeared to slam her opponents Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, who have suggested Ukraine ceding land to Russia as part of negotiations to end the conflict. Harris said such a move would be akin to, quote, surrender. It comes after the White House announced a military aid package worth almost $8 billion for Kyiv. Although it wasn't the green light Zelensky wanted to use U.S. missiles to hit targets deeper in Russia, he voiced his thanks. Today we have a new strong support package, as you said, and we have common view on the things that need to be done. One more thing, I want to inform Madam Vice President about the latest Russian missile and the Shahid's attacks against Ukrainian energy infrastructure. We need to urgently strengthen Ukraine's air defense to save thousands of lives and reduce Russian terror to zero. It's achievable. Thank you again. Thanks, America. Zelensky's remarks come after he spoke with President Biden earlier in the day, presenting what he called his victory plan for Ukraine as the conflict rages on in its third year. The White House announced on Thursday that Biden is to meet Zelensky again on October the 12th in Germany. At the other end of the political spectrum, Donald Trump is to meet with Zelensky on Friday, amid a dispute which saw Republicans incensed by the Ukrainian president's visit to an arms factory in Biden's hometown.